When using your Umbral Shards for PvP, have you ever wondered how high you should actually take your weapon? Yes, of course, you're always going to get at least a little bit of a benefit when you get all the way up to 625. But do you want to know where you should stop? Most people say to stop at 620, and that's because you get the extra stat point. But does it even matter? In this video, we're going to test it out. We're going to show you step by step, see how much damage we get every time we put Umbral Shards into our weapon. All right, let's get started. So we are here. We're going to make this video as short and sweet as possible. We are going to, whenever we go from 620 to 625, it is going to be a different weapon because I don't necessarily want this weapon to 625. And I don't want to spend an extra 7,500 Umbral Shards. It does take me a little bit while to get them because I'm not a big fan of mutators. So we grind them the ultra slow way. But I wanted to show you guys, well, the scaling on the weapons. And is it really worth it for PvP to start leveling up your weapons and going to 625? So, like I said, the 620 to 625 is going to be a different weapon, but it is going to equate exactly the same. The percentages are going to be exactly the same. It might just look a little different because it's a different weapon in a different area. All right, so we're going to start here at the Fire Binder. And basically here, we're just looking for base damage. So what I'm even going to do is we're going to take some of the weapon mastery out here to make this as easy as possible. We're going to reset everything because we just want to get a base damage. Now, the percentages of everything are gonna scale up no matter what percent or no what points you have in there, but there's a few passives that are in the fire staff that can kind of make the testing go a little bit longer than they probably should. So let's go ahead and test the base damage. You can see here again, 600. Let's attack it, so we have 572, 572, 780, and 572. Okay, let's go up to 601. Now we will go slowly here, the first couple, and then we'll just start upgrading a little bit more. So we have 572 and again, 572. We'll hit it again so you guys can see it, 572. So let's go all the way up to 605. All right, from 572 to 577. So with five points, we got five damage. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to five or 610. So from 572 to 581. So we actually went up nine points of damage. 510 to 515. 610 to 615, sorry, my bad. And from 572, so we went up five more points for five points. And let's get the extra stat point to 620. All right. So 590. Four. Even with the extra stat point, we're only going from 572 to 594. Now, let's see what that equates to in actual percentages. I'll be right back. All right, so we went ahead and did the math here. We did 594 divided by 572. And you can see going from 500 or sorry, 600 to 620 is giving us approximately 3.8% damage, which honestly isn't that bad. A lot of that comes from that extra stat point, not a lot of it but it gives you a decent amount we're actually going to have a video coming up very soon and we're going to talk about how you should allocate your stats and how much percentage you get for going over the 300 cap and on um, buy stat weapons should you put points into the other stat so we'll have a video coming out about that pretty soon if it's not this week it will be probably next week but to show you we have 1.038 which means it goes up almost four percent damage so honestly it's worth it in order to go from 600 to 620, it's actually not that many shards. I'll show you exactly how many shards it is. Uh, we have an ice gauntlet down here. Where is it? We have so much gear. So right here, so 600. We're not going to upgrade it, but in order just to go from 600 to 620, it is 1,664 Umbral Shards. Honestly, for almost 4% damage, that is absolutely great. You get an extra stat point, which makes it a little bit easier to allocate your points. Honestly, one point's not really going to make the biggest difference, but... It gives you a little bit of bump there and 4% damage for 1600 Umbral Shards. That's like a day's worth of Umbral Shards. That's not bad. That's going to be a very easy upgrade. So make sure you upgrade your weapon to 620. Now I'm going to cut over to when I was doing my spear and we're going to show you exactly how much it is to go from 620 to 625 and it may shock. All right, I'll cut to that clip. 
Now, if we do get a keenly empowered proc, we're just going to wait a second and we're just going to do the basic attack here. So 1898. All right. So I'll be back one second and I'm just going to write it down so we can get this all under control. All right. So let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy. If you wanted to look, we are running 350 decks, 50 strength. That is for another day. We are testing out a few things, but let's go ahead and upgrade to 621. All right, upgrade. Yes. All right. Let's see if we go from 1898 to... Oh, we gotta wait for the empowerment to get off there and we don't wanna crit. All right, and 1898. So we did not get any buff from there. So let's go up another one. All right, 1898, we got no bump there. All right, let's see if we get another one here. 1899, so we got one big bump there. All right, 1899 again. And finally, to the big bad boy, 625. And we got a little bump there. We did get um, a nice little bump there at the end, but percentage points, it is very, very tiny. All right, so you can see it is so tiny amount of damage. Eight tenths of 1% is how much damage you get from going from 620 to 625. Uh, honestly, if you were doing PVP, it is not worth it at all. If you want to do, you know, mutators, that is perfectly fine. You want to get every piece of gear up to 625 that you possibly can. I suggest you go with a really generic set of gear, get up to that 625, get start smacking in those mutator tens with your dedicated five man group, stack up 60, 70, 80,000 umbral shards, and then just start upgrading all your gear. You can go to more specialized gear if you want. Honestly, I would just save it because you don't know what's going to come out. We don't know. How we're going to use it you might get that next insanely piece of gear you want to do for pvp and actually max it out you know just get 625 on your pvp set maybe your pv ear and you want to play a different build you need about a hundred thousand umbral shards to upgrade it if you do completely um you know new set of gear for everything but yes so get up there if you want to do pve that's fine but we're talking about pvp and going from 600 to 620 is 100 percent worth it but going from 620 to 625 there is no way that I'm spending 7,500 Umbral Shards for not even 1% of damage. For instance, we're going to spend 1,664 to get almost 4%. And we're not even going to get, we're going to get a quarter of that to go from 620, 625. And it is six times the amount of Umbral Shards almost. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tomorrow is tier list Tuesday. We got another banger for you tomorrow. Ah, that was dumb. I'm sorry. We're not going to say banger again. I promise, but it's going to be a good video. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.